I like about old radios like this that no longer work, that no longer really have any kind of function or anything. What I like about these is that you can actually use a lot of the microchips you see on this board here. You can actually use a lot of these microchips again for your own projects. Not all of them are salvageable, but things like this little capacitor right here. If you actually sweat the leads off from underneath, the leads on these microchips will still be long enough where you can use them. As you see, I got one little microchip in there. I threw it in the cup. It's some kind of, uh, not really sure what that is. Not really sure if it's a transistor or a resistor, capacitor. It could be anything. I don't know. I don't really know my uh, microchips uh, too well yet. I'm still learning that stuff. But uh, what I do know is that they're not really all that hard to salvage, especially if you have a soldering iron. Because a lot of these leads, the, the older radios mainly, seems that the leads are longer. Like right here, there's a transistor. Instead of going to Radio Shack and spending two dollars or whatever they cost for a transistor, I can get one for free out of this broken radio. As a matter of fact, there's another one right here. And here is a good capacitor right here. A lot of times, even if you bend them, they'll come off. Here's another good capacitor. I want this big one, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that off. I don't see any I don't see any room between the between the chip and the board. But as you see, there's some room here. A lot of these chips still have some room where we can take them off. I don't know about these resistors here. I'd love to take them out. But they're uh, they're soldered in pretty close to the board, so I don't know about the resistors. But there is one resistor, and I just might be able to get. Maybe that one there. Sucks you can't see the images too clear. I'm not on my uh, good digital camera. I'm just using my uh, cell phone camera. But here is some more. Uh, chips I wish that I could uh, clear up the images better but I'm sure you get the message a lot of the old electronics that you no longer use have salvageable parts of course on the back I love how they say no user serviceable parts inside so once the radio burns out you'll just throw it in the trash instead of taking the components out and using them they don't want you to do that anymore. These tuna capacitors are really hard to get out, but if you can get this tuna capacitor out, I bet you that'll still work because it's really nothing but a bunch of magnets, I think. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I don't see no microchips or anything inside. It's basically all magnetic. That's what controls the frequency of your radio. That and these coils, which... I tried cutting to make it transmit, but I killed it. I killed this radio a long time ago. But uh, if you can get the switches off, good switches, you know. And there's some really, really, really sophisticated board down here. This is like one of the first digital circuit boards. It went to the alarm, the alarm clock screen that used to be on the front. Unless that is the screen. Let me check. I don't even know. Never mind. That is the screen. It was an old uh, alarm clock. And down there would be the tuning dial. Panasonic. Back when they made good stuff. Remember them days? You buy something from Panasonic now, it's junk. But uh, anything you buy now is junk, so it's really not... You know, 
that's all part of the new world order. You know, they don't they don't want stuff to last. They want to spend the least amount of money they can and get as much money out of you. But hey, that's why you take old stuff apart and build your own stuff. You know, say forget the corporations, forget all their fancy, crazy digital devices that everybody buys. You know, I may have a cell phone, but uh, I'm not just going to, like, throw this away and buy a new one. I'm going to use this phone until it, like, doesn't even turn on anymore. You know, I don't know about you guys, but that's just myself. Everything I have, I get it to last as long as I can. And after it breaks, I, you know, I try and get more life out of it. I'll fix it, do whatever I got to do. <clears throat> but, uh, sorry about that. I had, I had mucus. All right, well, I'm going to upload this video now, and uh, if anybody's got any questions or comments or anything, just uh, send me a message. Just feel free. Send me a message, and uh, yeah. Peace out, guys.